Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful tutorial, we're trying to see how to predict the nationality of individuals using their names, right? So we're trying to see whether if you are given the name of someone, you will be able to predict his nationality. So basically the main idea is that we need a data set of all first names and a data set of last names, right? With their nationality. And it will be more accurate if you have last names because most last names have some level of being able to identify the nationality with their last names. but most first names are usually borrowed. So it will be very, very, not that accurate, but with last names to be more accurate. So now let's see how to work with it. So I'm just going to import our EDA packages that is pandas and numpy. Then we will import our machine learning packages that is naive base, which is very useful for test classification as well as logistic regression. Then we also need count vectorizer to be able to convert our test into vectors, right? Then you continue from there. So now let's load our data set. So it's going to be DF, dot pd dot read underscore csv then the name of the data set right so name data set now let's check for the shape of this data set so about 3238 names you don't have much we need more to make it more accurate so over time you add in more to it so that it become more accurate now let's check for how this data set look like so this are so we have the names column and we have the nationality right so we can also check for the various stuff to so df dot columns so we have our nationality here as another column so we can check for all the different nationalities that we have in this particular data set with df nationality dot unique dot unique <laughs> that's for unique dot unique right so this is it right so we have about all of these things there not that bad right perfect so let me put this one here it's something called class names because to be using for our interpretation so you can check for the the, the length of it is going to be length of oh, this our class name which is about 50 wow that's about 50 different nationalities so we need more of these data set right need more of this particular data set now let's see something we can also do so the next thing we can do is that we can check for whether our data set is actually balanced so let's do it like df dot group by now grouping the nationality nationality and then the names dot size so that's what you're trying to do and let's see how it gets perfect so we have about this stuff here right so some of them are more than others right some some of them are plenty than the rest so let's try and see whether we can be able to uh, visualize this so we go input matplotlib dot pi plot as plt then you just use the math plot lib inline then let's try and plot this one and see right dot plot so we're going to plot let's use a kind of bar mm, perfect so we can actually make this one bigger so by the plot figure size to be 20 10 perfect right so you can see it better so now this is how it is this is how we shall like and some of them are almost at the same time so we have africa african american all of these things are but some of them are very less right so that means that is but good but not that best right but we need more data set to make it more accurate so now let's see some of this stuff you can do we'll be checking for our features so it's going to be our s features which it's going to be our names column now y labels it's going to be our nationality nationality right perfect so we have it here now you just train it test place i've already placed it there so that becomes easier and faster but before we do that you have to vectorize it right so let's vectorize our features so it's going to be cv 
let's go to convert right there right and then you'll be using convert right there to fit transform our data set right so it's going to be our s cv dot fit transform then our s features perfect right so that is what we have done so far now with this we can actually do cv dots we have get feature names then when you print it's going to print all the feature names there for us so these feature names is very useful we'll we be using them later right perfect so that is a feature name that you have so far now let's split the data set so we'll be splitting it by 70 20 then on a random state of 42 perfect now we have done it done let's do build our model build model so we'll be using in building our model we'll be using logistic regression and a naive base right so let's see how to do that so let's go to clf can you make it N nv or any of them so let's make it nv <laughs> nv going to be our polynomial. then we're going to fit it nv dot fit we fit in our s s train and then our y train together so perfect has fitted them together now we can use this our s to do our prediction but before then let's check with the accuracy of it of our model and then it's going to be nv dot score so we can we can test it on our s test and then our y test hmm, which is 0 0.05 which is very very bad right this is about five percent accurate <laughs> the reason is five percent accurate is that it's just first names and then again the data set is very very small but if it was last names i'm sure that the accuracy will be higher right that is the basic idea now let's try and see whether i can use to use this one to make a prediction so it's going to be let's give it as a sample one then we'll give it a particular name so i'm going to give a, a name that everybody knows that it is a an african name right so a name like kofi like kofi annan something like kofi annan right that's the name we're trying to predict so before we predict i must convert them into vectors right so go to vect let's call it vector one it's going to be cv dot transform so you're transforming this sample one to array now we can make our prediction so nv dot predict of our effect and let's see whether it's going to tell us that it their nationality is african kofi is a ghanaian name so let's see what it's going to tell us it's african perfect so this was able to tell us that it is actually perfect although the accuracy is very low just able to tell us that and predict that kofi is an african name so now let's try and then work on something different i'm going to use something more we have this so we're going to transform it again then we're going to predict and see whether it's going to give us a good a, a good prediction right so now let's try with an naive base classifier let's try and see whether it's going to give us a good prediction wow <laughs> so it is not that bad but you see how it made a mistake the lee was chinese John is French, you know John can also be French, right? Jean. Tame, I don't know why Tame and then Vlad are, <laughs> are French, but let me see. It seems that the data set doesn't have Russian, right? Mm, yeah. The data set doesn't have any Russian name. So that is why it was I think it's have it has. So I'm surprised it was not able to give us that prediction. Mm, let's try it again. Let's make it black Radme. And then let's change Tame to something different, like Ali, right? So we we'll run it again. And let's try and see whether it will be able to predict it. Or if you give us French, that means that there's something wrong with that. Ah, wow. <laughs> see, give us Chinese, correct? John can be French, can be English. Ali is Arabic. Very interesting. And then Vladimir, I'm surprised Vladimir was French. <laughs> so that is 
how to work with this particular model now let's use a different model we're using logistic regression regression so it's going to be our logic right and then we're going to fit it together logit dot fit our s train and our y train mm -hmm. perfect now we can build up can try it on something oh but let's check what accuracy of this one to score then we then s test and y test remember that you can also use accuracy score if you want right in a different method <laughs> this is 0 0.6 so that means that this logistic regression is a little bit, bit better but it still says percent, percent accuracy that is not the best anyway so let's try and see whether we can use this one to do predictions so we have a single prediction with logit and then also have a multiple prediction right so for the single prediction we'll try and see whether we can be able to use the same thing that we had here so we had coffee sample one so let's try and see whether we can use it's going to give us the same thing so it was dot predict it's going to be vect one which we know that it was coffee so it's african perfect so this is also african african then let's try with our vect two right and let's see okay so it still give us the same thing chinese french arabic french right so perfect so it was able to give us some perfect this one and this one are correct but the last one gave us totally wrong stuff okay so let's let me let's try something totally different let's see whether it's able to predict a russian name because it looks like it's not been able to predict russian names so you use same thing i had here i'm going to add a russian name so let's go to us sample three which a russian name that is very very common is ka tia right katia right or natasha or any of them katia natasha <laughs> these are very natasha romanov so these are very common russian names so we'll try and see whether i'll be able to use that same thing to do that three now let's predict so i use the same thing and let's make a prediction let's see whether you have to predict or if it's not able to predict and give us french <laughs> this model is very interesting so it give us <laughs> french french i don't know why cutting natasha are french that is the accuracy of the model is very low so we need to add and upgrade our models now let's see how to interpret this particular model so it's going to be interpretation so it's going to be import eli5 eli5 and then we use eli5 to do our prediction so it's going to be to show the width show the width it's going to be eli5 right dot show width of the particular model that you have so we have logit so we're going to show us on our target names go to our class names and let's predict and see let's check and see right the various width so perfect so let's change it to the white team the light team So these are the various weights that it's going to give right to us so these are the features for the actual waste and actual testing but we can actually make it better by doing it in this way so let's change it so i'm just going to call this feature feature name to cv dot get feature names so remember that we had our get feature names here if you remember those uh, get feature names after we have vectorized it now we had this get feature names here right so that's what we're trying to use for this one perfect 
right so that's what you're trying to use the same thing there so now let's work on it so i'm going to pass it here yeah then let's pass our feature names So it takes some time and analyze it for us. So you see that now, so it's giving us the feature names. So these are the various features. So these are the individual which give to us to make a prediction for Yiddish, for Gaelic, for African, for all of this. And these are the weights and these are the features, right? So that's how to work with it perfectly. Now let's see how to explain a single prediction. So how do we explain a single prediction? So it's going to be very simple. So I'm just going to take one of the ones that we had. So let's because a single prediction explanation. So for a single prediction explanation, we are just going to take an example one and going to reshape our data set. The one that we had, which was vect. Right, remember that vect one was that, then we're going to shape it as one sample, right? Then let's do our prediction. It's going to be Eli five dot show prediction then you pass in our model then we will pass in our example one then we pass in our target names go to class names so let's try and see okay so this is how it has been given to us right so that this prediction is coffee right we already know that this was coffee vector one if you check from here that vector one was African, right? Which is the name was Kofi, right? Kofi. So we will be able to see the various features and the probabilities as well as the score, right? By which it is going to give us that prediction. But we can also add some stuff to it by adding the features there. Feature names. Let's go to feature names. So that's it. You know, just not just going to tell us the particular feature but also going to tell us the actual word there so perfect so now <laughs> the way that we are predicting this coffee so we have coffee this is the weight right the contribution the contribution the contribution you in the one in africa the 0 0.032 the bias of negative 3 3.4 0.03. So the reason is given us this kind of explanation that our model needs a lot of data, right? And then using first names is not the best way, right? You have to add the first name, you have to add the last name, right? Which will make it more accurate. So that is the basic idea about it. So let's see how to save our model and then use it for the next session, right? So let's save our model. So I'll copy it and paste so that it becomes faster later on. So we can close it with our nationality model dot close. So, so we can also do the same thing for our naive base. So this is going to be logit model. Then we just save it. We just close it. So that is the basic idea about how to work and predict the nationality of a person. So the basic idea is that first of all, you need a data set which you have already labeled, right? And the most important of the data sets is last names, which is going to make it more accurate. Then first names also can be used, but you need a lot of data sets. Then you just import your EDA, import your machine learning, you vectorize it, you vectorize whatever thing that you have, and then you train and you predict so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just put inside the comment section below and please check the links below for some interesting books that can help you to master python and then forget don't forget to subscribe and then click on a bell so that you get new notifications thank you and then stay blessed